Hey guys, it's Mar Marine here, and uh, I'm bringing you a game that I played earlier today on the ladder. Um, this is a, like a mid-masters level game um, of a Terminus Protoss. And um, I've, I've really been enjoying Terminus Protoss a lot more in Heart of the Swarm than I have been in, um, in Wings of Liberty, just because, I don't know, I feel like in Heart of the Swarm there's a lot more aggressive options you can take with the factory units, with Widow Mines. And in this this game, actually, I'm going to proxy a factory and do a push out with a marauder and two marines with like two SCVs and try to bunker this area with widow mines around it. So uh, yeah, we're going to open up pretty aggressively, but expand like relatively quickly behind that as well. So it's a nice little pressure play that I like to incorporate in my play. And if they go nexus first, they're dead. And um, even if it's if it's um, next after core. Um, you can still do a lot of damage if the units aren't in position, you know. If, if you lose a stalker or two to the marauder that pops out right there. Because it can cause a shell for it as well. And that's pretty nice if you pick off that initial stalker. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. Um, the build order is um, 12 barracks. 13 gas, and then on 15 you send out a, an SCV out onto the map, or 14 depending on how far you want to you proxy, and then you go proxy the factory across the map. I'm going to put it somewhere here. It's a nice little place to proxy on daybreak, I, I think. And then you saturate your gas once it finishes with three dudes. Um, pretty standard stuff. So this is my, um, my SCV that's going to build the proxy factory. Um, and the Protoss scouts me, and to be honest, with just this information that he's gathered from this, he's, there's no way he's going to know exactly what's coming his way. Um, the beauty of this is, like, proxy factory isn't that common, so, like, Protoss is don't really scout for it. And when they see this, it could, could just be a Reaper opening, like, it could be a factory in base, because uh, I haven't hit the timing where I can actually build a factory yet, you know, in standard times. Uh, the SV does nearly die, but the Marine and secondary SV that was pulled do save it. Um, this one should plop down the factory any second now. Um, getting rid of the probes is kind of pesky and annoying just because they can micro run the, the mineral patches and stuff. But um, I do eventually manage to kill it off. And which is good because after my second Marine, um, you add a tech lab onto this barracks so you can start building marauders. And uh, he's not going to see the tech club go on, go down onto the barracks. So you know he won't suspect any marauder pressure at all. And uh, should be coming in. The second, I, yeah, the factory has also started over here. Um, and now you just kind of make a lot of SCVs and uh, expand behind this pressure that's going to come out pretty soon. And. Uh, I like to put my spike but somewhere here just so I can see any sort of weird warp prism play or any sort of drop play that does come into your base. Um, it is kind of worth it to put some thought into your building placement just because, you know, if, if a bunch of zelts get dropped in your base and they kill all your upgrade facilities, it's kind of disappointing. And so here, right here, once the tech lab finishes, you start the marauder as well as a, as well as the concussive shells research. And then at this point, you'll probably start, be st starting to build up some, uh, some minerals, just because you're not producing that much. And uh, I send this, this SCV that built the factory to scout the front, and I see that the nexus is down, so I'm like, okay, cool, I can move out without um, any fear of any sort of weird one base play. And the stalker does um, start attacking this SCV, which is kind of bad for me, because I kind of needed the SCVs to build the bunker, so I pull out an additional two. The widow mine does move out, but I think the stalkers are coming, so yeah, so... In a situation like this, as long as you burrow fast enough, Stalkers have to run away, and he doesn't pull away in time. He uses a stalker for f for free, and half the shields on that one get taken out. And the second one does pop out, so you just burrow here. And at the same time, behind this, as you can see, I have expanded. And the plan from here is adding two more barracks, and hopefully a starport, just because your factory's already done. And here, you can just kite really efficiently. As long as you kill the stalkers off first, um, you can kite the zealots in infinitely. So, um, it's pretty nice, and the widow mine has come off its cooldown, 
And my macro is actually slipping quite a bit. I'm floating 600 minerals. I should really have thrown down two more barracks and my starboard a while back. But um, I'm kind of concentrating on the micro up in the front. And the mushroom core is out. Um, yeah, you got to be careful. I only have one marine left in it. That's very going to get picked off. So I have to uh, rely solely on widow mines to try and kill it, uh, the mothership core. So I do put them in a quite nice positions. If the a lot of the time um, when the widow mines arrive, the start, the process doesn't even have any detection. So um, you know you're, you're just you're just actually just free to kind of roam around here um, dealing damage. And it looks like he has an observer out now. The stalkers are going to try and pick that off. Um, it looks like it does, is going to pick up, and I should move this one back slightly. Yeah, I do. And the idea is to kind of put wood mines so they cover the ramp, so if the Protoss tries to come down a ramp, they'll splash all across the units down there. My thing rods are now attacking the, okay. the next. I don't care if this goes down or not, but it's denying a lot of mining time, a lot of production time from here. And this is what happens when you try to break the front. Widow mines are so good against immortals. And then he's pulling a bunch of probes as well, but I got three marauders in a bunker. It's gonna, he's gonna lose a lot of stuff behind back at home. Should take my time building up my um, my add-ons onto my barracks, get, grabbing that second gas. Um, look at the at the mineral account. Um, I, I kind of got a choice now. I can either put throw down more barracks or another command center, depending on how much pressure I want to put on behind this. And uh, as I do kind of struggle in the late game against Pros, I did decide to. I think I do decide to put down two more barracks. So I can really crank out the units, and um, if the Protoss tries to catch up um, by cutting any corners, he's gonna have a bad time. Behind us, I am producing um, Widow Mines still here and there. He tries to break down yet again. Both the Zealots get taken out, but it does look like he will be able to break through. Um, I'm just trying to pick off as many units as possible for I to pull back. And look at the work count. Yep, I'm ahead by seven, which is really amazing for a Terran at this point. Um, you also want to get your upgrades relatively soon. Um, my engineering rate was a bit slow, as I said before. Um, my macro isn't the greatest during all this, um, just because I'm pretty, pretty low APM player, and uh, that, that's kind of unfortunate. I lose that outline for free, but I should float this factory back now. Yeah, I should do start building of a secondary factory, um, and I cancel it because I can just build a starport straight away. Anyways, I start plus one, as well as stimming combat shields are on the way. A bunker at the front. In case he tries to like do an immortal um, gateway army all in, so this guy is going to go for Colossus, and I don't know this at this point, but I know he had immortals, so I know that the the possibility of Colossus is um, quite real. And so I'm just waiting for my first few medevacs to pop out to uh, push out. This is basically going to be similar to the normal 10 minute push out, um, except it comes a bit later just because that early pressure did uh, push the whole games like kind of time frame down yeah and um Pros is still behind I believe yeah he's still behind in uh, worker count and he could probably if he macroed a bit better he should be he should have been able to catch up a while back but I am now adding my two medevacs and once these finish and I, I should probably wait for plus one uh, attack to be honest just because that would make my push even more stronger and I know with f the five barracks um, production that I have, I should be able to overwhelm my Protoss opponent, which w who was stuck on one base saturation for the longest time. And um, yeah, the most important thing right now is just to uh, macro up, not get supply blocked. Just um, have guys being supply depots constantly. I I'm going to add my secondary ar engineering bay and an armory behind this, just because I want my upgrades to be pretty good. Um, and I did get my plus one kind of light, so I kind of want to do the double eBay upgrade thing. And I do move out here onto the map. Um, plus one is nearly done as well. I'm just going to see what's happening and see if I can make anything happen. And I look at this army and I see it's really small. So as long as I target fire the closet, I know I'm pretty good, so I do advance into the middle of the map. And behind this, I'm just kind of waiting to start uh, plus two, plus one. And I'm building up my work count as well. My workers are a bit behind. I should technically have um, 50 SCVs of one racks expand in 10 minutes, but I don't. <laughs> and this drop does pretty good as well. Um, it doesn't actually kill anything, but it does force the Protoss to kind of be scared of drops. Um, I don't know why I focused on this gateway. I don't. I don't even get it. 
But anyways, um, the point is dropped was just to kind of pull him back, um, pull him thin, because I knew, I saw his army walking back here, so I took a shorter route. So I know I could do at least something. I killed a stalker. I think I might have killed a pylon there. But I'm um, doing pretty good there. In the, in the use loss tab, he has lost a lot more than me. Because it's really cost efficient with mine hits at the bottom of this ramp. And I should be adding a third command center pretty soon because I don't want to uh, make this into a two base all in. I mean, my third is really delayed just because of the opener and how the tempo of this game is going. I do start. Um, Terran ship weapons, which I, I think is pretty important because I know he's not going to have that many workers and he's not going to be able to have secured a third. So I think he's going to stick to Colossus tech instead of uh, trying to tech to Templar tech just because that's such a detour on the tech tree and it just costs too much gas to try and support off two base. So I'm um, just cranking constant Vikings as well as the plus one attack upgrade. Uh, my infantry do have plus one and uh, plus two plus one is on the way and I scan, and this looks pretty manageable. Um, I can always pull back as long as the Mushroom Core doesn't land too critical of uh, the time warps. It was a nice job uh, zoning my army out. Um, but my Vikings are just wreaking havoc o on these uh, Colossus, and two of them have already gone down. They're now focusing down the Mothership Core, and this time warp is actually doing the Frost Army a really good um, bit of boost right there. And um, But at this point, I've achieved what I wanted to do. I did some damage. Um, in the form of him killing his in gas intensive units because Protoss, you know, their armies depend so heavily on the backbone which is um, their gas units like either Colossus, which is in this case the case, and uh, Templar. And as long as I can keep that gas count down, he's not going to be able to invest into other tech paths, so I don't have to worry about getting ghosts anytime soon. Uh, my third CC is on, is on the way as well as three additional racks. I don't want to keep up in that production. Um, and I'm just yeah, constantly cranking out more units behind this, and um, I am at like 58 workers, which is pretty good for two base saturation. Um, I've been kind of slow on the building of those, but it's not it's not too too bad just because I don't have a third base that I can secure it as of yet. And uh, he did shave down my Viking count by quite a bit, which is really nice for him as well, because means I have to reinvest into more Vikings instead of being able to build more uh, medevacs for healing. And I do spot that the Protoss army was pushing on the middle of the map. I do position my Vikings in this nice on top of this nice little ledge here. Uh, so it covers both uh, paths of attack that the Protoss could take against me. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to macro as much as possible. I am running out of mineral patches at my na uh, main, so I do want to lift off my third command center and land it here pretty soon. Um, throwing down a fourth command center wouldn't be bad a bad idea either at this point just because my production is pretty good. And it does look like he was just um, threatening the attack. He didn't actually want to commit to anything. My upgrades are looking pretty good. 2-1 and 3-2 uh, on the way. Plus one air weapons has also finished. And um, yeah, my my main is really dangerously low on minerals, so I, I do believe I do. <coughs> excuse me, I do um, lift off this and land it over here. Um, I'm just incorporating classical tactic of um, expanding behind an attack, and this attack is, um, you know, I'm, I'm not afraid to pull back because the point of this attack is to let me secure my third to preoccupy the Protoss while I secure that third, and if I don't get any damage done. I'm not that I'm not that upset because I mean, um, you know, I'm I still perceive myself as pretty much ahead at this point. And then I do swing around to the third position to see if there's anything there, and if the Protoss army is out of position, I should be able to snipe it just because of my high marauder count right now. I do stim in to go in, and it looks like there's a the nexus there, and my S position my Vikings on this ledge yet again, and it does look like the stalker count is really low for the Protoss. So therefore, my Vikings just kind of rain supreme all over the Colossus, and a nice force was to prevent me from kiting all these zealots. But um, my upgrades are uh, at two two to his um, plus one armor and zero attack. So uh, my Marauders and Marines, t backed with the Medivacs, do manage to beef it out, and I have another small force coming from the back, stimming in. And this is pretty much GG. I haven't really saturated my third because I am preoccupied um, by. Trying to micro this, but um, yeah. So this was a 
pretty cool game, I thought. Um, Boros is researching Storm and has Templar tech, but I mean, I, I sniped his third. There's no way he's going to have enough gas to do that. Um, so at this point, I'm just cleaning up, waiting for him to leave. But uh, yeah, I, I just suggest that if any of you are, are having problems with TVP, to try uh, this kind of Widowmine pressure. Um, so it was the 12 barracks, 13 gas. At 15, you send out an SV to the middle of the map to build your um, proxy factory. And I do believe your factory goes down at around 17 or 18 or so. And then the, the process does kind of cry out in Bamba and then leaves. And um, yeah, I hope this was a bit informative for you guys at least. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.